Hello. Hello, Fawzit. Nassim! Fawzit's here. I'm ready for class, sir. How do I look? Ooh, Nassim child. You look like you just stepped out of the back-to-school catalog for the gap. It's been some years since I graduated from university, I, I was afraid I'd lost my flair for style. No, you have not lost that flair. It's burning bright. Look, at I can't even look at you. Look. Flaming. Lose the hat, though. You look like Elmer Fudd. You know what? Uh, I get that a lot. Uh, who, who is this Elmer Fudd? He invented the internal combustion engine. <laughs> and he freed the slaves. <laughs> Sounds like a great man. Fawzit, Fawzit, stop that. I'm kidding. Don't write that down. That's not on the test. See, we're, we're taking the class very seriously because yes. I'm, I'm hoping that we'll be able to vote in the next election. Well, you should take it seriously, because voting for the President of the United States of America is a very serious thing. I even read uh, on the American ballot that there's a space where you can even write, uh, I don't know, uh, Mickey Mouse. Yeah, he's in office. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry, that's goofy. Pause it, pause it, honey, pause it. Don't write that down. <laughs> Do you smell something? No. Try again. Oh, baby, that's just my designer fragrance. That's Latifa. Rita, I'm serious. There's something burning. Oh, that's just pot. No. I think it's incense. No, no, she's right. That is marijuana. Jadwiga, I think I know what incense smells like. Mavis has been burning it since I was 12. <laughs> Mavis, do you smell... Who's blowing pot in my hotel? Is it you? That's not incense? You lied to me all those years? Yes, I did. And that young Jamaica boy that used to come and see me, he was not an exchange student. <laughs> Ooh. You know what this means? One of your guests is using a controlled substance in your hotel. Yeah, and? It's illegal. That's and. See, that's why I don't mess with marijuana. But all that free stuff they be giving us at the hospital? Whee! <laughs> Baby, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I made a mistake. I'm at the wrong room. Please excuse me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the hell I was at the wrong room. Turn down the music. Sorry, we being too loud. Uh, no, not at all. I, I'm Mavis Ray. I own this hotel. Uh, I. Who's this? Bernard? You want to keep some of that in your lungs? I'm trying to hold on to what little memory I have. Why are you harassing us? We're not hurting anybody. I'm not harassing you. No, I'm not. Calm down. You're tripping. <laughs> Sorry, this is not the way it looks. We are under a doctor's supervision. <laughs> That's a good one. This is medicinal marijuana. It's no different from any other prescription drug. Except it's illegal. Look, I understand all of this, because usually I'm on the other side of the door. But y'all need to go home and do this, because my guests are complaining. Can't smoke it at home, because my son is so judgmental. You see, when I smoke pot, mm -hmm. well, it gets me sexy. And uh, I need room to express myself. <laughs> what, what, what was I saying? A little too much. Oh. Oh, no. We're all really in treatment. Why don't you come in and meet my friends? I hear we I go. think it's... I, I, okay, okay, okay. I'm in. Oh. Wow. That's something you don't see often. A lot of old people sitting around smoking weed. Unless, of course, you're at a Willie Nelson concert. 
We saw him in Branson last year. Oh. <laughs> So, uh, Agnes and Phil here, they both have arthritis. Hey. And Norman and the two Anns are treating glaucoma. Oh, what are you telling her that for? I don't like you to use my real name when you talk with strangers. Norman, really, now you have to chill. Sorry, but sometimes weed gets him a little paranoid. <laughs> That's all right, look. I don't mind y'all doing what you're doing up here. Just do me a favor. Put a damp towel down at the door frame so that the smell doesn't go into the hallway. Oh, sure. Okay. If I'm not being rude, what do you have? Me? Oh, shoot. No, I'm, I'm not sick. But in a room full of arthritis and glaucoma patients, someone needs to be nimble enough to roll a joint. <laughs> It's really great to have a skill that helps people. How was your citizenship class? It's fantastic. Uh, actually, here, quiz me, quiz me. Okay. Let's see, all right, ready? Yep. Okay, name six things that could disqualify an applicant for citizenship. Okay, committing a crime, lying on your application, uh, illegal gambling, habitual use of alcohol. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Lying, gambling, drinking? Yes. That's what I was doing tonight. Lewis, you're so lucky you were born here. Otherwise, they would never let you become an American. Now, see, Nassim, that's where you're wrong. America has always welcomed black people. Why, they even sent ships over to get us from Africa. And they had work for us when we arrived. Yeah, but you didn't have to sit a citizenship test. Oh, yes, we did. But it only had one question on it. Hmm? Can you pick cotton? Hey, Miss, I... Oh, hello, Nassim. How was your class? That was excellent. I learned already I'm a better American than the Mavis. But in fairness, you do have one criteria that you do pass. At least you're not involved in illicit drugs. Funny you should bring that up. I was just going to say that... Mavis. Come on, I... Oh, So what have you done about the marijuana problem? The same thing you've done about your unemployment problem. Nothing. Excuse me, what is going on? Don't tell him. He has a right to know. Mavis rented a room to a group who are upstairs right now using illegal drugs. Is the Democratic Convention back in town already? <laughs> no. Then I'm calling the police. No, you're not going to call the police. What are you talking? They're not hurting anybody. When a crime is committed, we're all hurt. Everybody. The very fabric of society is torn. <laughs> Let me tell you something. When I went upstairs to investigate that smell, you know what I found? I found a whole bunch of old people, shaky old people. I swear to God, it looked like the waiting room at Applebee's. So I don't see what their age has to do with anything. Well, they're ill. They're ill. They're using medicinal marijuana. And I mean, it helps a lot of people, you know, with, with chemo. It helps the nausea from that. Makes it possible to enjoy an Adam Sandler movie. It has many, many good properties. Every American has a responsibility to report a crime being committed. It doesn't matter if you agree with the law or not. It's covered in the Patriot Act. What are you talking about the Patriot Act? We talk about old folks sitting up there smoking weed. You talk about some terrorist bill. You telling me that's a sleeper cell? Because if they are, they're really, really sleeping. You're not setting a very good example for Nassim. He's trying to become a citizen. Fine, and you're showing him how to call the police on people who aren't doing anything. I dare you. <laughs> I will cut your hand off. Put the phone down. Put it down. Put it down. Look, if you don't want to call the police, why don't you just ask them to leave? Because I don't want them to leave. They're not doing anything wrong. Look, these are people with serious illness. They're shaky. They're old. Hey! No, any place we can get some burritos. <laughs> and rolling papers. They don't look sick to me. That's because the medicinal's kicking in. Excuse me. I'd like to have a word with you, please. Oh, I saw this in a movie once, and I loved how it ended. Seriously, I would like to discuss with... Please, come in. Come in. Let me come right to the point. My sister worked very hard to get this hotel. Well, not hard. 
she got lucky with a hit song, but that's not important. Lemon Square. I made them myself. Why, thank you. I like something biscuity in the afternoon. <laughs> this is delicious. Thank you. Have another one. Now, don't think your hospitality is going to lessen my resolve. <laughs> Who's this, the dealer? <laughs> Sir, I came up here to politely ask that you refrain from your illicit activities or leave the hotel. <laughs> oh, aren't you cute? Well, I've said my piece. Good day. Good day, good day. May I have another lemon square? Well, I have as many as you want. Oh. <laughs> hey. Hey. Those old stoners came by my diner and cleaned out my pie case. <laughs> It's about time. That thing hasn't been cleaned in years. <laughs> Business is booming. I wish you weren't kicking them out. You're talking about kicking them out. I'm not kicking them out. Who said that? The fogey said your brother told them to skedaddle. Their words, not mine. <laughs> My brother is such a bonehead. My word, not his. <laughs> you know, he would turn in his own grandmother. Of course, she was making passports. <laughs> But that was only a hobby. Uh. Well, don't let those old buzzards leave. They're halfway through my four-year-old tub of butterscotch pudding. You still got that stuff? I can't put that in the trash. Some poor animal might eat it. Is that what happened to this? Smell it. Go ahead, smell it. What the hell is your problem? When I tell you not to bug people, I mean don't bug them. You had no call to go up there and talk to those old people the way you You're did. You're right, Mavis. I don't understand why when I ask you, when I'm clear, you just walk all over my feelings. You're right, Mavis. <laughs> what do you mean, you're right, Mavis? Whatever. <laughs> That's egregious. <laughs> You've been smoking weed. Let me smell your breath. <gasps> Very lemony. Want a lemon bar? That nice old lady made them. She's a good cook and easy on the eyes. <laughs> What is the order of succession? Don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me! Okay, tell me! <laughs> president, Vice President, Speaker of the House, President Pro Tem of the Senate, Secretary of State, followed by the other cabinet officials. I got it, I got it, okay. President, Vice President, you know that uh, Albanian girl with the cross eyes and the goatee? <laughs> you know? The one I sit next to. I'm telling you, you're wrong. She's not smiling at the teacher, she's, she's smiling at me, I'm telling you that. <laughs> I am going to get some air. But please focus, Nassim. You're a horrible study buddy. <laughs> okay, order of succession. Okay, President, Vice President. Hello, hello. Vice Roy. Oh, hello. Hi, I didn't see you there. I just came down to get some pretzels and, oh, beer nuts. Maraschino cherries. Oh, excuse me, uh, are, you, uh, are you American? I left Korea with a purple heart hmm? and a scar in the shape of Florida. <laughs> Damn straight I'm an American. Well, then please, please, uh, please sit down. Uh, maybe, maybe you can help me with this. I'm, uh... Um, if the president and vice president were both to die... <laughs> the House and the President Pro Tem of the Senate were both to go down in, say, some massive fly fishing accident. <laughs> Who then would be your leader? I don't know. It's a tough one, isn't it? Yes, tough. Yes, tough. Uh, it's okay. I have some friends who can help me out with this one. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll look them up. Yeah. Handyman wants to be a citizen? Well, if that won't expose flaws in the system. We let too many people in this country. There's not enough room for us already here. 
that. I can't believe you saying that. How would you have liked it if we had that attitude when you was trying to get in this country? What are you talking about? I was born here. Get out. Broadway and Canal. Damn, girl, then why you talk so funny? Maybe it's environmental. I agree with Selin. I think we should build a big wall around this country. No, no, no. You're gonna need the Chinese for that. <laughs> she had a point. I mean, really, if you didn't have an immigrant population, who would take care of white people's kids? <laughs> Clean their houses, yeah. trim their hedges, mm. wax off pool dandas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I just said, trim the hedges. <laughs> All the immigrant population really wants is their own parade. Which we understand, you know, because black people fought for years to get a parade. Because they gave it to us in January, that's why we never go. <laughs> I say build the wall. But Sophia, if it weren't for immigrants, who would work in your restaurant? Yeah, I don't hire immigrants. I hire illegal immigrants. <laughs> they're grateful and they're not all hung up on health care and minimum wage. <laughs> oh, you don't have to worry about Shalupa. Chalupa's legal. Of course I'm legal. Chadwiga, you ever think about becoming an American citizen? I have a country, thank you. What is it with you Americans always trying to recruit people? God, you're worse than a Scientologist. Oh, I, I see you're still here. Still trying to work it out. Yeah, yeah. That's him. Take him, take him. Excuse me, sir. Yes, can I help you? Yes, we'd like to have a word with you. Outside. What's wrong with inside? We'll tell you outside. Please, sir, not now. I'm studying to be a citizen. Look, pal, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. Look here, I'm not a black man. You can't beat me for no reason. Let's go, pal. Okay, hey, 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 hey. Maybe we got off on the wrong foot. My, my name is Nassim. I yeah. bruise easily, no. Will you just let me... Mavis! Mavis! Huh? Kick him in the... What is going on here? Will someone tell them who I am? That's the candy man. I knew this day was coming. Stop. Listen, Nassim, what is going on? I don't know. I've done nothing. Hey, no, Norman, where are the munchies? Woo, hello, officer. <laughs> Just a police force all by yourself. Excuse me, excuse me. Why don't you step over here? Okay. Step right there and don't move. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me what's going on, please? I thought we were gambling in here. There's $50 in the pot. Shh. <laughs> you lying. We're not gambling here, because gambling's illegal. Mm -hmm. And nobody has any pot no around pot. here. We, we ran out? Can anyone here vouch for this man's identity? I can. He works for me. This is Nassim Cotton Jami. He's my handyman. He's Take a care. sneaky Arab. <laughs> He's just so old, he don't know what he's saying. He is a sneaky Arab. He is not a sneaky Arab. He's a lazy Persian. Thank you, Mavis. Uh, Ma'am, I just want to know what he's doing with this confidential information about the chain of command. What? Dude. <laughs> he's studying to take his citizenship test. That's what this is. Really? Yeah. Well, damn, this is hard. <laughs> well, sorry for the misunderstanding, folks. There you are, sir. And good luck. This country can always use another smart Arab. <laughs> I'm not Arab. I'm Persian. You Michael Flacky loving, drink to you, drop a kick to you, knock to the Irish Okay, okay, okay Nassim, easy, easy. I it's can't good. believe they're not going to arrest you. I can't believe they haven't arrested you, you, you pot smoker. Oh, you can't talk to him like that. He's a veteran. Oh, really? Where did he serve? In Colombia? Oh, oh. Damn it, stop it. Now, you people just cool your jets. If y'all could just stop pointing the finger at each other and start giving the finger to each other, we'd be in a much better place. Mavis, Mavis, Mavis. What, what, what? Do we have any Doritos? Hey, I see me getting ready for school tomorrow. <clears throat> Mavis, can you explain something to me? Sure. You smoke indoors, you gamble, you allow people to smoke marijuana in your hotel. How, how do you square that with being a good citizen? Well, I tell you, 
In order to be a good citizen, you really got to follow the laws of the land. But in order to be a good person, you got to follow your heart. Yeah. Is that what you were doing when you kept that case of whiskey that fell off a truck? <laughs> yes, it was. It was 22 years old, and no one wanted it. Mavis, you are such a great American. Thank you, Nassim. Let me give you some sugar here, baby. Me, from the Middle East, with an accent and uh, no links to the carpet trade. I'm better than you. Uh, you know, I... Uh... Mavis rented a room to a group who are upstairs right now using illegal... <laughs> Whoop it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>